My name is Lewis Hurman. I teach CIS 120A and B. These are our uh, CompTIA Security Plus preparation courses. Hey, I'm Aaron. I'm an adjunct faculty here at CIOT and I teach AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Essentials. My name is William Bo Rothwell, and uh, I teach uh, Linux Plus classes here at CIOT, also cloud classes, and a set of classes called DevNet, which is a combination of uh, software development and networking. I started out joining the United States Navy. I was a submarine radioman. Then I left military service after about 10 years, and that's when I worked on my bachelor's and then my master's in information systems with a focus and information security. The thing that I've done with my career is that I started out as a systems engineer, working on server management, working on routers and switches at the network layer, really hands-on technical making cables, plugging them in the back, just really absorbing as much as I could. And then I transitioned that into a network defense position, which I did for the government, where I work cybersecurity network defense trying to keep the bad folks out, educating the users on the inside, and just building that culture of security. I've worked in uh, the cloud environment for about four or five years. I own a company and we exclusively work on Amazon Web Services. And I also work at Encore Capital as a senior compliance analyst, so I maintain their entire IT infrastructure. So I've been a corporate IT instructor for about 30 years. I uh, started teaching units classes for a company called Sun Microsystems. And also was a course developer and instructor for Qualcomm here in San Diego for a few years too. In 2000, I opened my own corporate training site, uh, which I operated for about 15 years. And currently I work for a company called ServiceNow. I do course development for their cloud-based automation technologies. So I'm, I'm super passionate about growth uh, in, in IT. I think one thing that's missing is when you get that role, what do you grow into? And so, uh, you know, things like mentors, but also identifying growth paths. Everybody can kind of segue in to IT, but once you get in, there's always some sort of like either specialty or you end up at service desk. And I think uh, CIAT does a good job of getting you focused on one of those specialized pathways, but also giving you that broad overview of all of the different IT aspects. So you can kind of choose once you get into the field. So I was interested in actually getting into a scholastic uh, environment where I know some of our students actually do have a fair amount of IT experience, but a lot of them are coming in. This is the first thing they're getting into their IT careers. And I, I really thought it'd be really awesome to be involved in that kind of environment where, you know, I'm, I'm teaching students who not only have some experience, but also are in the process of getting into an IT career and getting them excited about that process uh, and helping them learn and grow from in the IT environment. When I first started out in IT, there was a lot of secret keeping, a lot of folks who were experts in what they did or they played God mode on the network. And, and if you wanted to learn from them, you really had to jump through all these hoops. I thought to myself, if I ever get in a position where I can throw back the curtains on this knowledge and really just not require people to do that, to be successful in what they're trying to be successful in, then I'm going to do that. I'm gonna take charge of that and, and make that my own personal commitment. I really do think that one of the things that, um, you know, Seattle does is, is does help you find that focus. So it seems super broad when you're looking at it. And then once you get in, you're getting all these certifications and you can finally find out what you like. Seattle's a lot different than a lot of the other schools I've worked with because they take the time and we take the time to make sure that we have hands-on activities and get a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention. So the class sizes are a little bit smaller, which enables the instructors to work directly with students. So if a student gets hung up on a lab, we're able to spend that time to make sure that student can catch up and understands what's happening. A lot of the time, students go through the motions of just completing assignments. And here at SEAT, we actually try to make sure that that motion is not completing an assignment, but it's actually digesting, understanding, and facilitating that knowledge all in one motion. So they get that information acceptance, and then they're able to apply it immediately. One of the things that I was uh, pleasantly surprised about is how committed everyone seems to be uh, at uh, SEAT to the quality of the education for the, uh, the students. And this is actually from like the owner to the dean, student services, support personnel, the high quality instructors that we have. 
it really uh, is quite clear that uh, everyone is really committed to making sure the students learn as the best they can, give them as much opportunity as possible. So students are actually provided with uh, the support to learn and to become successful into uh, either breaking into an IT career or enhancing their existing IT careers. What I love about teaching at CIOT, and I've taught at several schools, is the availability of the staff, not just the instructor, not just the dean, but everyone. Everyone at CIOT is standing by to offer assistance, guidance, or resources to be successful. Thank you.